everything is awesome. Yeah, I got out seeing this movie. I would download that shit straight to my phone. This song is going to be stuck in my head at least for a couple more weeks. Okay, so the Lego movie. Okay, so the past couple months I've been hearing rave reviews on both critics and people saying that the Lego movie is one of the best movies of the year so far. Me being the douchebag that I am, I brushed that movie aside because I thought it's a February movie. Most February movies aren't really good movies at all. The month of April, May, that's when the good movies start to really kick in and it gets better and better as the year progresses. And I had everyone around me telling me, Ryan, do the Lego movie. Please, Ryan, see the Lego movie. And I was like, okay, all right, I'll go see it. And then I gave in and I went to go see the Lego movie. And how was the Lego movie? Oh my god. What have I been missing, you guys? So the Lego movie is about a little Lego figure named Emmett. He's just an average Joe regular person, and if you spot him in the crowd, you can't see him. Because he's a Lego, his face is just identical to everyone else's. There's nothing special about this guy, and they point that out in the movie. He eventually finds a Lego piece just lying around in the corner, and then he embarks on a huge adventure with all these Lego figurines, and then travels across the Lego universe. And when I say the Lego universe, I mean everything is made out of Legos. Even like dust clouds is like made out of Legos. After all, it is called the Lego movie, so everything has to be Legos. And the story formula here is pretty simple. Bad guy, good guy, stuff like that. Good guy finds out he's part of a prophecy, and then the bad guy tries to stop him. You know, pretty simple, right? I love the first world it shows in the Lego movie because it showed how it had a whole, like, system to it. Everyone follows their instructions, like the instructions they show, it's actual Lego instructions that you'll find in, like, a Lego anything that you find. They have the little instruction booklet on how to build something. They read those, but not all the system is good, though. The bad guy in the villain named President Business, he's making everyone listen to the same song, drive the same car, do the same everything, just follow the everyday procedure. And it reminded me of Big Brother. I was sitting there thinking, like, hmm, something's not right here because everything was just so happy and just so normal. It just didn't seem right. Until Emmett learns that there's more worlds out there than his own. Okay, now the jokes in this movie, they're fast, quick, and they're also creative. I was surprised because I caught myself laughing at the jokes. I was seriously, like, busting up. They're really funny. There are some jokes for kids and there are some for adults. The adults, they will laugh in this movie. As for the animations, wow, that was one of the best parts of the whole movie. And like I said, everything was made out of Legos, and it was crazy to think someone thought of this. Someone put all this together and made an entire movie out of it. Now that is called being creative. And as the movie progresses, it continues to get better and better and then better. And at the end, you're just like... I didn't see that coming. I'm telling you guys, the ending, the ending is what did it for me. This is what brought it home for me. I was already thinking this is a good movie until the ending came and then gave this really amazing message to it. Ultimate theme is creativity throughout the whole Lego movie, including the ending. And trust me guys, there's way more to the ending than just that. Oh guys, oh, it, it, it brought me to tears a little bit. It, yeah. When a movie does that, you know it did its job well. And this is a movie for both adults and children. Everyone can relate to this movie. And I'm extremely sorry to all the people I said I'm not going to see the Lego movie, but I have finally saw it, and I'm proud to say that the Lego movie, I give it a 5 out of 5. I know, I was wrong, you guys were right. I'm a douchebag. This was something of Pixar material, and I know this movie wasn't made by Pixar, but this was something that they would do. It was a heartfelt movie that had everything in it. And I'm happy after two months, two months, you guys, I finally saw one of my favorite movies of this year so far. And I can't wait for a sequel to be made. But in the meantime, I have to get going, you guys. Peace.